The aim of this short video is to show you how to fit the auto magic filter to your camera. To do this you need a pair of scissors and some tape. The best way to fit the magic filters to your camera is actually to attach them to the front of the lens. And nearly all cameras have some sort of rim around the lens which is an ideal place to put the filter. If you cut the filter slightly larger than the lens there's plenty of room then to, to stick the filter onto the front with tape. Opening up the packaging, filter out the stencil. The stencil is very useful for this because it allows, makes it very easy to cut the filter the right size. To use the stencil we just need to cut it so I'm just going to zip down here. It doesn't have to be the most accurate cut at this point. So, and then just cut that piece of stencil out. Now I'm going to fold the stencil. So just fold it along this dot, the dotted line here. This bit you do want to make sure you're folding it pretty accurately. That's going to make a, make a difference. And now I'm going to work out what size of stencil I need. And I'm going to use the second ring in. Now we just take a piece of the filter, put it inside the stencil. Ideally, you want to line it up so you're just cutting into the corner of the, st of the stencil with the ring that you intend to use. Um, I'm going to use this large pair of scissors. Um, it's probably easier to do this with a small pair, but I'm going to use the large pair simply to show that it's not particularly challenging with a large pair either. And then just cut around the stencil size that you decided on. Here we go. Just going nice and smoothly. And then there's your piece of filter cut neatly into a circle, ready to be used. And having cut the, the filter out of there, you can see it leaves a nice neat shape and there's, there's certainly room for, for, for possibly four other filters coming out of that particular piece. Yeah. Okay, so to attach the filter, just rest it on top of the lens like that, just reasonably centralised. Take two pieces of tape, just a dab on this side and a dab on this side, and then we can trim away the excess tape, even with these large scissors it's not too much of a challenge. Just trim away so it's a nice and neat finish. And job's done and that will go happily in and out. Um, the tape won't get caught in the barrel because it's, you've trimmed it away. 